welcome along and welcome back to Attingham Park. Today, we're going to head down to the shop because we are very much out of money and we're in need of a bit of a cash boost to get us through the next couple of months until we start selling things in January. So, um, because we've not got... Uh, a huge amount of money well in fact because we've got no money at all and because we're unable to actually take uh or unable to actually get any hired workers going it cuts down what we can do in the contracts and as our options are limited there's not really much here to take what i would love to do i would love to go and do this on field 42 it gives you everything you need to do the whole thing via follow me and um, we could very easily do this in, in much less than the, the two and a half hours, two hours 40, it suggests it would take. However, um, that's not possible. We don't have any money for follow me and, and, and workers. So I think our best bet is probably to take on this. Uh, it's a little bit of uh, plowing. It's with a... Uh, a New Holland and, uh, and should do us fairly well. Uh, we're going to get about... Uh, we're going to get about four, just over four grand from it, which should be enough to get us through the next couple of months, uh, certainly. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll be OK. So let's borrow the items for that. There are a couple of harvesting contracts. Neither of them are paying well at all and are not worth our time. Um, there's some fertilizing, but we can't do fertilizing until we have some money. And both of them are slurry anyway. Uh, yeah, it is just purely plowing, really. This is actually a very similar setup, so we'll we'll see where we are. We might see if we've got the time to do that one. But for now, we are going to take on this with this nice New Holland T7 uh, HD. It's a 275. Uh, we'll go and grab the weight first. Uh, we do have... Uh, sat nav on this which is great or gps i should say not sat nav uh so we've got sat nav on this tractor so that will make this job a little bit easier it'll also give us a chance to go and check out the fields that we eventually want to add to our farm on the other side of the river the only downside to the fields that we're looking at today is really that they are very silty clay it's not great land uh and as a result causes us a bit of an issue uh, in actually uh, being able to, to make the maximum from it. But I think we should be all right. Uh, right, let's get the beacons on, out onto the road, and uh, cross to field eight. I don't plan to do too many contracting videos on this series. It's, uh, it's very much more about our farm as opposed to lots of contracting stuff. We're doing a lot of that kind of thing really on Stone Valley. And uh, I very much uh, am wanting to restrict it to that a little bit. Uh, especially with how much we've had to do to get it to that point. This looks like a dead field of potatoes. Uh, which is, yeah... You can see why they want it ploughed up. Are we actually destroying them? No, because this is a contract. And we don't do crop destruction on contracts. Where is our best line on here? Actually, I think our best line is probably over the other corner or no. We'll, we'll do it on this line here. So open this up. Turn it round. We've got fairly good lines around here. And if we go up the field like this, yeah, we should we should do fairly well. We might have to fill in a little bit on the other side, but I think we'll be okay otherwise. Let's bring this to here. Put that down. Uh, we will turn on the GPS, set our first waypoint, and away we go along this edge here. Do us fairly well. Actually, I'm going to reset this. Not happy with that. Okay, I think I've got it. Now, my offset is wrong for my tractor. So, I want to invert the offset. There we go. Right. So, we're running at 5 degrees. We're running up the side of the field here. Everything working fine. So, we can hide the lines now. 
And yeah, as I thought, we're going to end up coming out into the middle of the field a bit. And we'll need to sort that out. But that's not a huge problem. And if this all runs smoothly from here, I am going to be very happy. So I've moved over to the edge of the field now. And uh, we're just going to fill this area in. What I want to be careful of is not too much on the um, actual grass. I want to, again, keep us as realistic as we can. And bring it round and in. GPS does make such a difference to doing these kind of jobs. And it's the, the downside to running a, a farm with 90s equipment, 80s and 90s equipment uh is that we you know we won't be able to have gps and it, it won't set up like that and uh and i think using it for contracts and things like this uh yes we're a little bit out of our time period but otherwise uh it's okay it's really what we can afford because we do have some more modern things running this is uh serves to be a little bit of a juxtaposition to uh what we had last time with the fact that we were uh, you know, doing this without all of this modern equipment and uh, still had a very similar sized plow. I think we had a five furrow plow compared to a uh, six furrow. This is a six. Uh, no, this is a seven furrow that we're running this time. And it uh, it really does show the difference between uh, the more modern equipment and the older stuff. And that gets that area nicely filled in. And uh, it means we don't have that hanging over us at the end. So we can just spin around now and uh, and get back into the rest of the field as we should and work our way across it. Um, looking really good. We are 10, 12% in fact of the way through this contract. And, uh, and so we're getting through it fairly quickly, especially now that we are into longer runs on here and not fiddling in this corner we should be doing fairly well something i do want to talk about is uh the comments from last time about the things i raised about the pig feed lots of really interesting stuff um some great calculations thank you for those in the comments um just absolutely brilliant uh it seems that of all the feeds that you can get in farming simulator 22 pig feed is the one that it's worth buying it's worth selling the crops and it's worth uh buying the pig feed and the thing that i really like about it is that there's a realistic uh reason and a, and a realistic thought along those lines which again somebody brought up in the comments which was brilliant is that the crops that we're selling we are trying to sell the highest quality crops we can um we're not selling animal feed crops we are we are trying to to basically do the best uh crop set uh that that can be sold whereas the pig feed will be made from uh the the lower end stuff the the less premium stuff so uh that's really where we're going for from it um the thing that was amazing was that even if you went and made it from the cheapest crops you could grow so the stuff that would be higher yield and uh, and we would end up uh with more of it um and so less of it would end up going towards the feed overall as a percentage wise you still made more money selling those crops than than you would from the actual pig feed it wasn't massively more it was it was like 42 pound a thousand liters or something like that um but it was still more it was still cheaper to buy the pig food even making it from the uh making it from the 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 cheaper crops the 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 less uh the less high paying crops uh per thousand liters so uh yeah all waves around what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell all the crops uh we are gonna buy pig food in as and when we need it we'll probably fill a barn with it um with some big bags of that and uh and yeah that is how we're going to do the pigs i think that is probably the best way for us to do it now the other thing people have told me is that pigs aren't very profitable in fs22 i've had lots of people say that you know that you don't make a good profit on them you, you can't make much money on them 
Uh, and then very much this is one thing I want to find out with this series. Uh, can we make a decent amount of profit from pigs on here? Uh, we're going to do farrow to finish. So we're going to go, we're going to buy young pigs, piglets, and, uh, and we're going to fatten them up and get them to an age where uh, they should be worth the most money. Um, we're going we're gonna to keep a close eye on that because exactly at what point uh, the finish is um, and, uh, and at what point they become uh, feeders uh, is uh, a, a, a very big question. Um, and I want to look really at how much it costs to buy an older pig and uh, and the price that we can get up to uh before we sell so it's going to be a, a close eye that we're going to keep on that see how long it takes to do that as well and hopefully give some sort of definitive answer in this series for that uh it's uh, it's going to be an interesting thing the other reason of course that i want to get pigs uh, apart from the fact i've done a lot of cows in uh, fs22 at this point and uh, I'm doing it on... I'm doing cows on, on at least two series. I'm doing it on uh, Stone Valley. We've got cows. And uh, we also have cows on the uh, on the, on the Realism Experiment on, on Carmson Farm that we're doing on Sunday nights over on Twitch. Uh, we have that as well. We've got cows on there. And also on the uh, multiplayer. Uh, the community multiplayer that i'm doing tonight we've got uh we've got uh, we've got cows on there as well so doing lots of cows at the moment i want to do something a little bit different on this series so um we are going to do pigs uh and the other thing that we've got on here i'm going to put this on to cruise control for a minute uh is because We've got uh, this over here. Where are you? There we go. We've got the pumps and hoses pack with all of the pumps and hoses bits on it. So, uh, yeah, I want to try this stuff out. Um, I have had a try with this cultivator and things, and it and it's really good. And the, the HP requirements for all of it is not too high. So that should work with the tractors that we have on this series. So, yeah, I want to do lots of stuff with slurry and uh, and use that to do our uh, fertilizing as much as possible. So if the if the pigs save us money on fertilizing and and we can do all our fields with slurry, uh, then the, the pigs are going to be worth it just for that, because the price of fertilizer is horrific. And uh, yeah, I want to avoid that as much as possible. So we're going we're to have a play around with that as well and see where we can go uh, with pumps and hoses on here and uh, and and getting that all working. So um, lots to, to really do on here. Um, we, we're still very early stages of this series. Uh, we will probably jump through December. And the reason for this contract today more than anything is to... Uh, give us the funds so that we get to the end of December and we're not massively, massively in debt. I mean, we wouldn't sit on our laurels and just wait uh, to accrue debt. And uh, we, we really want to hit the new year, being able to sell all of that sorghum and all of that wheat and, uh, and be in a position where we're making... Uh, a good amount of money we may hold on to a bit of the wheat one thing i'm not adverse to doing on here which i am doing on a couple of other series is uh is chickens chickens all, always seem to be a nice little stable income they don't bring a huge amount in but they bring a little bit in and it's and it's always good to have some eggs so uh yeah we uh we might build those into the rebuild of the farmyard that we're gonna do uh all in all though uh the things that we need we need a cedar and uh, oh yeah speaking of cedars so uh i know which cedar i want on this series there's a massey ferguson one 4.5 meter i think it's 4.5 meter cedar came out really recently mod um and uh and yeah i think we're gonna get that on here now uh, we'll we'll do really great slightly wider than the other ones we were talking about and uh, and has a good transport mode as well for when we need to get it out to field six so yeah i think we're gonna go with that cedar on here come the new year uh, also inexpensive which is great and about the right age too 
and uh, and yeah so fortunately most of the equipment we're looking to buy is not going to be very expensive uh we're also i think going to go with that little ford that i was talking about uh, and use that as our yard tractor for now if we can eventually upgrade to the zebra we will do but uh, certainly the little ford uh 3000 series uh, that's a, that's a little bit older fantastic yard tractor i think we'll definitely be going with that two thirds of the way through the contract and the field is beginning to thin out a little bit uh it's you can see where the rough center of the field is where our flashing eight is in the map to the the bottom left um but yeah we are 67 yeah we're, we're two thirds of the way through this contract now and uh, this tractor is just slicing through this field very nicely it is five past two in the afternoon the sun has not gone up very high we've had this long shadow behind the tractor the whole time we've been working this field and it shows that that yeah these these late autumn into winter days you do not get much sunlight uh you don't tend to get an awful lot done at this time of year so i'm not sure if doing that massive uh massive uh bailing contract actually wouldn't have come back to bite us in the butt um the fact that we just don't have enough money to effectively do it in the time uh is neither here nor there it would have taken a full follow me setup uh, i think to get that done whereas uh we're, we're not doing too badly with this at all it's not going to bring in anywhere near the amount of money that that contract would have but it will be enough just to keep us above water uh a bit of a question actually for you guys there is a fishing area just a little bit down the map here we go and have a look at the map this area here it's within the area that we we're looking to get so this this sort of quarter of the map is where i'm looking to fully establish the farm um so the atrium fishing club is in there uh i think we'd have to pop down there and have a look at how much it is to buy but it would be a nice little income it's right by one of our fields i mean it's uh, right by field 12 so uh it's already within our purview it's an area that we want um, and as I said, it would be a nice little bit of passive income. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think we should grab it when we get the money in? Or do you think that uh, having too much passive income like that is, is not a great way to go? I, I'd like, I think personally, um, I would like to probably get it. It would be just that nice little bit to keep us going. Probably help with our loan amount and things and, and just mean that we're, we're not falling too far behind on uh, on what we need as we uh, continue to build up the farm i notice on the pda at the uh, bottom left hand corner uh, both field nine and field eight and i think all the fields down this side are actually small parts of much bigger fields on the uh, on the real life uh, layout i think i'd love to, i'd love to see sort of a an an excel version of this and attingham park extended or something like that that incorporated those fields uh i think that would be really cool there's certainly uh scope for there to be extra fields out that way and uh yeah i, I like that idea uh it's uh it's a really lovely part of the world to have a map and to be doing a a map in in farm sim uh it's a map that i love playing because it's it's such an interesting area and you just look around and yeah it's, it's a lovely piece of british countryside to be farming in it is a gorgeous map half past three and the light is fading fast but we are 90 percent of the way through this contract uh, it is just plodding on and yeah doing a good job of it as well this will get us back in the black uh should mean that we have a decent little pot of money to keep us going for the next month or so 
uh, should meet certainly all of our debt repayments and all of our uh, costs for leasing stuff over the next month. We're not actually borrowing that much. We've only uh, let's have a let's have a quick look at what our repayment costs are actually at the moment. So bring that on, bring this up, and have a look at our finances. So uh, last month our vehicle leasing costs were two thousand seven hundred and our costs for uh, our loan loan interest was 1600 so that's for the full month so yeah we, we're gonna have uh about the same cost i think this will therefore get us through till january we'll we'll probably come out back in january uh we'll have the cost of uh well we'll then be able to start selling stuff off and I think we'll be in a similar sort of position to we are now, which means pretty much the maximum amount of money we can get back from our uh, selling, crop selling, will go to into our bank account and be able to be used. And actually, this is a good reason why I think it, it might be wise to get uh, the fishing area and uh, and just have a nice little income from that. Uh, the other thing, of course, with now buying pig food, uh, we don't necessarily have to go and uh, get the gardens anymore. Um, I still think having the gardens on here would be nice. I just don't think I'm going to do potatoes in them. Uh, the potatoes last time I did them on No Man's Land were really massive. I mean, it was just a huge amount we had to do. Unless I'm going to process them or use them to plant potatoes which is a good way of, of getting some seed potatoes for planting um i i don't think it's why i was doing potatoes in there so we'll we'll have a look i think we'll get the gardens we'll put a couple of gardens in uh if i can in some way fertilize them from the pigs i will do and uh, and we'll see where we go from there but uh yeah what we actually grow in them is now less important as far as uh pig feed goes and we can probably maximize our profits from them instead we're almost there 99 percent done and this will uh complete it in a moment we are as always doing as much as the farmer has asked us to do rather than going beyond that uh whatever reason he doesn't need all of the field doing maybe he's coming back and doing it himself later maybe he's going to grass it up uh whatever it's his choice uh that we don't necessarily have to do the whole field so that's fine uh it is coming up to half past four and the light is fading i have got all of my lights on on the tractor now um, because we have uh the fading light uh, but this is all looking good and uh there we go that is the uh most amount that we need to do we need to turn the plow and we can turn off the gps we will fold up the plow and i'm just going to pop down to the fishery quickly uh to the the lake uh the riverside pond bit and we'll have a look at that and just see what the price is see how that might factor into uh what we will uh what we can make and uh, and how we can go uh this i do like this area i mean these fields are a good sized fields for the kind of equipment we're using uh down this side and i, th I think they're all going to be useful for us from that point of view this is the fishing area so as i said it's right by field 12 and it is uh quite a good area do we so i think we have to actually buy the area don't we because yeah lots and lots of uh yeah it's a fishing area and campsite and i think we we basically buy the area so if we have a look in here and have a look on the map so that is the area there uh, the value is only 36,000. So that would be a really good area for us to buy, I think. And as I said, the, the aim of this series is to try and get everything, this lot down the side here, 
down the river and then everything sort of up to there so 2 14 13 uh 4 7 8 9 10 and 11 plus the fishery area so yeah we're, we're basically looking to buy this area at some point anyway uh, i think having uh this area here as a passive income uh, fairly early on would be pretty good for us but i do want to know from you guys what do you think do you think that's a good choice i mean we could also also do a little bit of uh forestry work in here as well there's some uh, there's some good trees that would uh, would make us a little bit of money too so very interested in uh, your thoughts there oh, let's let that car pass he yeah he had to break right i'm gonna head back up to the shop the light is fading uh we probably don't need all of our work lights on but we could do with full beams and uh as the day draws to a close uh we're gonna get this contract in and see where that leaves us i think unless a really good contract turns up in december we will probably move forward to january and uh and get stuff sold and move things forward on our farm let's turn that off and all the lights uh because yeah it's uh i don't want to to end up doing too many contracts and things i'll uh, we'll go to the contract desk here and completed contract plowing on field uh field eight four thousand three hundred and thirty six let's collect that perfect yeah there are so many bailing contracts at the moment um but uh two but two plowing contracts uh still outstanding those will probably last through december but uh i don't think we uh we're gonna do those all in all though fairly successful day we've got four thousand and ninety four pounds uh, the light is fading quickly, so this is the perfect place to end it, which means that all that remains is for me to say... Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.